Hey there guys and gals, Melodic Symphony here, and today we're going to be playing some more roommates. So I've been reading up more about Rakesh's pathway, and apparently, according to what I'm reading right here, it says Rakesh is unique in having the best endings. And for a few of the events, I can do either choice, but I have to make sure I'm consistent with my choice. And I will try both endings. Uh, one of them is called the truth ending, and one of them is called the deception ending. And we know what that is. You either help Rakesh lie twice, or you uh, tell him the, you tell him to tell the truth twice. And either works, apparently, so I will do both. I will genuinely do both. And since this week is the week that saves it, I'm going to go ahead and save a bunch of stuff. You know, just so we have this to go with. And yes, I'm saving all eight because I'm weird and completely anal retentive about this. Okay, return. <laughs> um, let's go. But apparently there's nothing weeks 18 or 19, so it's going to be kind of boring for those weeks, so I may just shove them into one bit. Um, so yeah, this week actually is going to be pretty full, though. Hello, Max. Are you back here? Oh, hey, Rakesh. How's the class treating you? Well, with you grading, it has been most enlightening. Hey, I haven't been showing you favoritism, you know. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't been showing you favoritism, you know. Actually, I told the professor. I thought he'd have a problem with it, but he does something about a great quandary, and, well, anyway. I'm glad you have been favored me. I would hate to think that my acumen is a result of favors and not my own intellect. Not that intellect is anything but a lie, but, well, it is one of my favorite lies. I am super confused. What? This isn't an option. This isn't a storyline and I have to make a choice. Oh, God. Um... We all lie to ourselves. It's just about uh, something. Since it's not, it's just about how much. It's all about maintaining the illusion of the self. I will admit there are some things I don't entirely understand. It's pretty easy stuff, really. Just about how you can only exist if you can think that you exist. But even that may not be enough to prove that everything else exists. I'm pretty sure the whole universe is just made up. It's all the fevered scribblings of a madman. That fa that. That sounds profoundly stupid. Yeah. Ew. This isn't a... What? I don't... I don't know how these will go. You don't... Be completely dumb as shit. Whatever. I mean... You know, in the context that you... Sorry. That came out wrong. I think it was a compliment? It's okay. Some of the professor's concepts are a little past me as well. I really do think you're a smart one, Rakesh. You may not be the most book smart, but you've got a creativity like I've never seen. You are sweet to me, my dear one. Rakesh leans over my desk, giving me a sweet, long kiss. I'll be working on my next paper when you get home. Uh, come take a look, okay? I'd love to. That was a good day's work. That's weird. That wasn't in the thing. I know this bed is just a cheap single, but after a long day, it feels fantastic. The last quarter has barely begun and I'm already feeling blown out. I may even... I even made it home before everyone else. I pull my cell phone out to put it on the charger and notice a text from Rakesh. We haven't had a much chance to hang out in the last few days. It may be nice to go out tonight. Maybe I'll give him a call. I smile and call up the speed dial contact for Rakesh. Hopefully, we can at least catch a bite to eat together. Oh, Max, I'm glad you called. In my room, you will find a screwdriver, a color wheel, and two boxes of streamers. I need them immediately. Uh, Rakesh, I'll be there in five minutes. I knew I could count on you. Five minutes later, I show up in the park, trying to spot Rakesh. I finally spot him waving at me from over by a tree. I walk over, handing him the box with all the things he asks for. Ah, thank goodness. What are you up to, Rakesh? Well, primarily, I wanted to see you. Rakesh scratches his head with a goofy grin. I reach over and give Rakesh a quick peck on the lips. Ah, oh, aren't you the sweetest? Come on, man, you don't have to make a crap up to get me out here. Rakesh smiles and shrugs as he moves away from the tree over to where he stashed his bike. 
See, there was a reason for my things. I smile as Rakesh begins comparing his streamers to the color wheel to the bike. So, what are you taking this quarter? A few painting classes and a life modeling class. I'm really feeling like the time with models would be a big help to me. No medicine this quarter? Rakesh frowns and pauses in the middle of taping some streamers to the bike before he can respond. I meant. Right on, man. Do what you like with your college experience. Rakesh frown dis Rakesh's frown disappears into a happy smile as he keeps taping streamers to his bike. Yes, I decided to skip medicine this quarter. I think the live models would be much more use than the dead ones. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Oh. Rakesh smiles and gets up to hug me. With arms around each other, we walk down the path for a bit. Thank you for coming so quickly, Max. I am so happy that I can count on you. Of course, man. You know I've always got your back. And suddenly I remember Rakesh's bike isn't with us. Hey, what the hell happened to my bike? We should probably go now. Perhaps we can do something another night. Uh, <laughs> definitely, I can wait for next time. Rakesh smiles at me and we chuckle. Fucking stealing his bike. What a dick move. God dang it. Wow. Um, what's the other one? I'm not really sure what I want to do tonight. I should probably get some work done, but it's Saturday and I feel like taking a little time to myself. I respectfully request that you back off. Um, with all due respect, please stay away from me. Um, well, I turn for a moment, wondering if Rakesh is talking to me, but I don't think he is. He's got a notebook in one hand and he's tapping it with a pen in the other. He seems to be considering what he wants to write down. He looks up from his notebook and catches me looking at him. Ah, Max, welcome home. I must tell my parents how I feel, if possible, without letting them know how I feel. Mm -hmm. He looks at me as though I've got the answers hidden in my back pocket, and I'm not sure what to tell him. I sigh a little, I sigh a little internally, but give Rakesh a smile. All right, let's hear what you've got so far. What are you trying to tell them? Are you finally reading... Are you finally ready to tell them you're not interested in becoming a doctor? Well, something like this, yes. I received a letter from them the other day stating that they are interested in coming out to see how the school is treating me. I cannot let them come here. They would discover what I have been doing, so my letter must respectfully tell them there's no need. Hmm. It's going to be a little tricky. All right. What have you gotten so far? Let me see. I have to translate a bit. Um, Dearest father and mother. I am fine. You needn't check on me. Everything is great. I am learning everything about medicine. Please feel free to cram it and stay where you are. It doesn't really say that, does it? Well, I did say I was translating a bit. It's actually in English. They all want to know what I'm learning. They all want to know I'm learning the language as well. Here you can see. I shake my head but take the letter anyway. It is in English and Rakesh did paraphrase it pretty well, even if he's being a bit sarcastic. Wait, are you actually sending them a paper letter in this day and age? No, no. I'm just planning what to put in the emailed letter. Oh, well, um, hmm. I guess it's not really, sh I guess I'm just not really sure how to advise them to move forward. Rakesh, you know, you know you have to write this letter, right? I mean, I can't write it for you. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm not sure what direction to go in. Should I try to tell them that we're all sick? Should I try to tell them our place is rats? You know, you could always go with the truth. Rakesh looks at me like I've grown a hole in my head. I sigh and consider what he should do. This one we're doing truth. And then after this we'll do the deception because I heard it's a little bit different. Um, yeah, I heard it's different so I'll just go ahead and try it anyways. Push for the truth. Okay, hun. Here's how you play this. You write your letter and tell them that you've lost a few fingers in the name of science. That you've gotten a girl pregnant, or at least you're 85% sure you're the father. Then you tell them that your bills have increased and that you've been getting by selling your body on the streets. 
Rakesh looks at me as jeez. Rakesh looks at me as though I've come up with the most brilliant plan he's heard of. I really worry about the boy sometimes. And then at the end of the letter, you tell them that none of that was true and that you really just decided to give up on the medical track. They'll instantly forgive you. I tell them there's no need to come out. You've got it under control, and you'll discuss it all with them over the summer. Rakesh frowns and looks at me doubtfully, but shrugs. A stranger things have worked, I suppose. I'll see what I can put together. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save this in other files. So I don't forget. And thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.